the inquiry of good wisdom. Thus have I heard. At one time the Buddha was in the city of Rajagra, on the mountain of Giardrakuta, along with the great Sama of Bixis, 1250 people in all. The Bodhisattva Mahasattva is their number 10,000 in all. At that time in the city of Rajagra there was a laywoman named Good Wisdom who was in her eighth year. Her appearance and features were upright, colorful, and beautiful, appearing so nice that those who saw her were happy. Already, she had approached and made offerings before innumerable Buddhas of the past, planting good roots. When that maiden went to the place of the Tathagata she bowed her head at the feet of the Buddha, and then circled around him three full times to the right. Kneeling with palms joined, she spoke agatha. Anatar Sam Yaksam body is a lamp for the entire world. Of the practices of a body sattva, I wish you would hear my questions. The Buddha said to good wisdom, you may now ask questions as you like and the answers will cut through your net of doubts. At that time, good wisdom went before the Buddha and spoke agatha to inquire, How can one attain upright features, and a body of wealth and nobility? Moreover, what causes and conditions make kinship difficult to destroy? How may one perceive oneself? Receiving birth by transformation, arising from the thousand-petaled lotus flower and giving reverence to the big vans face to face. How is one able to attain realization of supreme and sovereign super-knowledge and go off to innumerable lands to pay homage to the Buddhas? How can one attain blamelessness so that others will have belief purely removing obstacles to the Dharma? and forever departing from the deeds of Mara? How is one able, at the end of life, to attain perception of the Buddhas, hear the speech of the pure Dharma, and not be subject to suffering? Great compassionate supremely honored one, I merely wish you would speak of these for me. At that time the Buddha spoke to the maiden good wisdom, saying, Excellent, excellent. It is good that you are able to ask about such profound matters. Now listen carefully, listen carefully and well mindfully, and I will tell you. Good wisdom then spoke, saying, Just so, Bhagavan. We are joyfully wishing to hear it. The Buddha told good wisdom, a body sattva who accomplishes four dharmas receives an upright body. What are these four? 1. The first is not giving rise to a mind of hatred for a bad friends. 2. The second is to abide in great kindness. 3. The third is to have profound delight in the correct dharma. 4. The fourth is to create images of the Buddha. At that time the Buddha spoke agatha. Avoid hatred which spoils good roots, have kindness, delight in the dharma and make Buddha images, these will cause you to have good features adorning your body, so that all sentient beings are happy when they perceive it. Moreover, good wisdom, a bodhisattva who accomplishes four dharmas will attain a body that is rich and noble. What are these four? 1. The first is that you should give timely gifts. 2. The second is to do so without a mind of disdain for others. 3. The third is to do so with happiness. 4. The fourth is to do so without expecting any reward. At that time, the Bhagavan spoke agatha. Giving timely gifts without disdain, happily giving without seeking reward, being able to constantly strive and cultivate this you will be born into great wealth and nobility. Moreover, good wisdom, a bodhisattva who accomplishes four dharmas will have unfailing kinship. What are these four? 1. The first is to be skilled at abandoning divisive speech. 2. The second is to cause sentient beings with wrong views to abide in the right view. 
Three, the third is to cause the correct dharma to be protected from extinction and to abide for a long time. Four, the fourth is to teach sentient beings the path to the body of the Buddhas. At that time, the Bhagavan spoke agatha. Abandon divisive speech and wrong views, protect the correct dharma from extinction, and peacefully establish beings in great body and this will accomplish unfailing kinship. Moreover, good wisdom, a bodhisattva who accomplishes four dharmas will attain birth by transformation before the Buddhas, seated upon a lotus flower. What are these four? 1. The first is to give flowers, fruit, and fine powdered incense as offerings to the Chathagata and to the stupas. 2. The second is not to tell lies or harm others. 3. The third is to make images of the Chathagata placed within a lotus flower. 4. The fourth is to give rise to profound and pure faith in the body of the Buddhas. At that time, the Buddha spoke Agatha. By giving flowers and incense to the Buddha and stupas, and by not harming others, making images, and having profound faith and understanding of body, you may attain lotus flower birth before the Buddhas. Moreover, good wisdom, a bodhisattva who accomplishes four dharmas may travel from one Buddha land to another Buddha land. What are these four? 1. The first is to not perceive others' cultivation of goodness as obstruction or annoyance. 2. The second is to never hinder others when they are expounding the dharma. 3. The third is to burn lamps and make offerings to the stupas of the Tathagata. 4. The fourth is to constantly strive to cultivate the dhyanas. At that time, the Bhagavan spoke Agatha. By seeing others cultivating and speaking the correct dharma, and not giving rise to slander, blame, or obstruction, by making offerings of lamps to stupas of the Chathagata and cultivating dhyanas you may travel the Buddha lands. Moreover, good wisdom, a bodhisattva accomplishes four dharmas for the station of blamelessness in the world. What are these four? 1. The first is to draw near to virtuous friends without a mind of flattery. 2. The second is to not have a mind of jealousy regarding others' excellence in the Dharma. 3. The third is to always be happy when others receive honors and recognition. 4. The fourth is to not vainly criticize the practices of a Bodhisattva. At that time, the Bhagavan spoke Agatha. Not flattering your close virtuous friends, not having jealousy for others' excellence in the Dharma, always being happy when others obtain honor and recognition, and not slandering bodhisattvas, one attains blamelessness. Moreover, good wisdom, a bodhisattva accomplishes four dharmas for his speech to be believed by others. What are these four? 1. The first is develop speech and cultivation always in unison. 2. The second is to not do evil things to virtuous friends. 3. The third is to not find faults in the Dharma one has heard. 4. The fourth is to not give rise to a mind of evil for one who speaks the Dharma. At that time, the Bhagavan spoke Agatha. By developing speech and cultivation in unison, not harboring animosity for virtuous friends, and not seeking faults in the Dharma or its teacher, what you say will be believed and accepted by all. Moreover, good wisdom, a bodhisattva accomplishes four dharmas for being able to leave obstacles to the Dharma and quickly attain purity. What are these four? 1. The first is to accept the threefold discipline with profound conviction. 2. The second is that one does not give rise to slander for extremely profound sutras. 3. The third is to perceive the newly developed intention of a bodhisattva as the arising of the mind of omniscience. 4. The fourth is regarding sentient beings with great kindness and equanimity.
At that time, the Bhagavan spoke Agatha. By accepting the precepts with profound intention, believing and understanding extremely profound sutras, venerating the mind of a beginner as Buddha thought, and having a mind of kindness, one eliminates obstructions. Moreover, good wisdom, a bodhisattva accomplishes four dharmas for being apart from maras. What are these four? 1. The first is to fully know the equality of the nature of dharmas. 2. The second is to give rise to determination. 3. The third is to constantly strive to be mindful of the Buddha. 4. The fourth is to transfer over all good roots. At that time, the Bhagavan spoke Agatha. Able to know the nature of dharmas is equal always with determination mindful of the Buddha, and transferring over all good roots the multitude of Maras cannot gain advantage. Moreover, good wisdom, a Bodhisattva accomplishes four dharmas so that at the end of life the Buddhas manifest before him. What are these four? 1. The first is to fulfill the wishes of others by giving what they are seeking. 2. The second is giving rise to profound faith and understanding of good dharmas. 3. The third is to give adornments to the bodhisattvas. 4. The fourth is to diligently make offerings to the triple gem. At that time, the Bhagavan spoke Agatha. By giving to others what they seek, believing and understanding profound dharma, giving adornments and diligently giving to the field of merit of the triple gem, at the end of life, Buddhas will manifest before you. At that time, the maiden good wisdom heard what the Buddha had spoken, and said, Bhagavan, as the Buddha has spoken of the practices of a bodhisattva, so will I practice them. Bhagavan, among these forty practices, if there is one that is lacking or uncultivated, then this will be conflicting with the Buddha's teachings and deceiving the Tathagata. At that time, Venerable Mahamodgalayana spoke to good wisdom, saying, The practice of a Bodhisattva is extremely difficult to carry out. You are now developing this extraordinary great aspiration. How will you attain accomplish mastery over this vow? At that time, good wisdom replied, saying, Venerable, if my great aspiration is true and not void, able to bring these practices to complete fulfillment, then may the three thousand great thousand worlds shake in six directions, and the heavens rain wondrous flowers, and may the drum of heaven sound of its own accord. When this had been spoken, flowers fell from the sky like rain, and the drum of heaven sounded of its own accord, and the three thousand great thousand worlds shook in six directions. At this time, good wisdom again addressed Mughalayana, from my true words, in a future era I will attain Buddhahood, just as Sakyamuni, the Chathagata. In my land there will be no deeds of Mara and not even the words for evil destinies or for women. If what I say is not fabrication, then may the bodies of those in the great assembly all take on the hue of gold. After speaking this, the assembly took on the hue of gold. At that time, Venerable Mahamodgalayana then arose from his seat, bared his right shoulder and bowed with his head at the Buddha's feet. He spoke saying, Bhagavan, from these things I have developed the mind of a Bodhisattva and even that of the assembly of Bodhisattva Mahasattvas. At that time, Dharma Prince Manjusri spoke to good wisdom, saying, In what Dharma do you abide to make this sincere aspiration? Good wisdom replied, saying, Manjusri, it is not proper to ask this. Why? This is because in the Dharma realm there is nothing which abides. He also asked, then what is body? She answered, the non-differentiation of dharmas is what is called body. He also asked, then what is it that is called a bodhisattva? She answered, a bodhisattva is one who is aware that all dharmas are equal to the manifestation of empty space. He also asked, 
what is it that is called the practice of body? She answered, the practice of body is like a mirage, or like the echo of a valley. He also asked, with what underlying meaning do you say such things? She answered, in this I do not perceive even the slightest thing which may be underlying or manifest. He also asked, if it is as you say then all ordinary people would have body. She answered, you speak of body as being different from an ordinary person. You should not have this view. Why? These are all of the same characteristic of the Dharma realm, to be neither grasped nor abandoned, with nothing to accomplish or destroy. He again asked, how many beings are able to fully understand your meaning? She answered, their number is like the number of illusory minds and mental functions. The illusion of sentient beings is already able to understand my meaning. Manjusri said, illusions are without basis, so how can there be a such minds and mental dharmas? She answered, the dharma realm is also such, neither existing nor non-existing and for the Chathagata is it also such as this. At that time, Manjusri addressed the Buddha, saying, Bhagavan, this good wisdom is extraordinary, even able to accomplish such dharma patience. The Buddha said, thusly, thusly. What she has spoken is sincere and true. In such a way, this maiden has long since developed the mind of body, throughout the past thirty eons even developing the destiny of my supreme body, causing such abiding in the patience of the non-arising of dharmas. At that time, Manjusri arose from his seat to pay homage, and addressed good wisdom, saying, Throughout innumerable eons in the past, I have made offerings, and never have I encountered what you now speak of. Good wisdom spoke, saying, Main just you, now you should not give rise to such discriminations. Why? It is non-discrimination that causes the patience of the non-arising of dharmas. He again asked good wisdom, why do you still not transform your female body? Good wisdom replied, saying, the appearance of female cannot be grasped, so what is there to transform? Main just re for you I will remove and cut off all doubt and confusion with the truth of my own words. In a coming era when I attain Anatar Sam Yaksam body, the Bhikses will hear my Dharma, hear of the virtuous life, leave home, and enter the path. In my land, all the sentient beings will have bodies of a golden hue and wear provisions like those of the sixth heaven. The drinks and food will be rich and abundant and will arrive with a single thought. There will be no deeds of Mara, nor evil destinies, and not even the name female. There will be a forest of the seven jewels, and above a net of jewels, and a jeweled canopy covered with lotus flowers made of the seven jewels. It will be gloriously adorned just as the adornments of Manjusri's completely pure land, equal and without difference. If what I say is not false, then may the bodies of those in the great assembly all take a gold you, and may my female body transform into male, like a thirty-year-old bikesu who knows the Dharma. When this was spoken, the great assembly all took on a gold you, and good wisdom body sat the transformed from female into male, like a thirty-year-old bike. You who knows the Dharma. At this time, a multitude of earth devas appeared around them and uttered their praises, Wonderful! Wonderful! Great wisdom body Sattva Mahasattva, in a coming era when she attains body, will have a pure Buddha land adorned with such merits. At that time, the Buddha spoke to Manjusri, saying, This good wisdom body Sattva, in a coming era when she accomplishes complete enlightenment, will have the name, Extraordinary Merits to all treasury Tathagata and manifest in the world. When the Buddha had spoken this sutra, thirty myriads of sentient beings attained non-retrogression from Anatar Sam Yaksam body. Eighty myriads of sentient beings left the dust and dirt, and attained the pure Dharma I. Eight thousand sentient beings all attained the wisdom of realization.
5,000 bikes is set forth in the body sat the vehicle, turning back from the mind of desires. Perceiving good wisdom body sat his extraordinary intention, good roots and sovereign authority each bike so uncovered his upper robe. They gave an offering to the Chathagata by developing a great vow saying, From these good roots we resolve and aspire to accomplish Anatar Sam Yaksam body like these good men, and from these good roots transferred over to body leap over ninety eons of the suffering of birth and death and advance to non-retrogression from Anatar Sam Yaksam body. At that time, the Bhagavan made a pronouncement saying, all of you, in the future, over one thousand eons from now, in the eon of stainless radiance and in the booty land of the blazing world of endurance, will accomplish Buddhahood in a single eon. You will all have the same name of eloquence adorned Chathagata and manifest in the world. Main just Ryu, such a Dharma gate has great sovereign authority, able to cause bodhisattva mahasattvas as well as those of this Raveka vehicle to obtain great benefit. Main just Ryu, suppose there are a good man or good woman seeking body without skillful means, who practiced the six paramitas for a thousand eons. If there is also a person who writes, studies, and recites this sutra for a single fortnight then the mass of merit received by the latter is hundreds, thousands, even myriads of times greater so much greater that the two cannot be compared. Therefore, main just Ryu, a subtle dharma gate such as this is fundamental to the canon of the bodhisattvas. I now entrust it to you, so that in a future era you may accept, maintain, study, recite, and explain it to others. For example, when a chakraverting king manifests in the world, the seven jewels are each present before him, but when the king has died, then the jewels will all vanish. When a subtle dharma gate such as this spreads in the world, then the seven body factors of the Chathagatas and the dharma I will not be destroyed. However, if they are not spread, then the correct dharma will be extinguished. Therefore, main just Ryu, if a good man or good woman is seeking body, then he or she should zealously write this sutra and should accept, maintain, study, and recite it and expound it for others. In a later era, one should not give rise to a mind of regret or disdain for my teachings. After the Buddha had spoken this sutra, then good wisdom bodhisattva, main just re bodhisattva, and those of the great multitude, the devas, humans, asuras, gandharvas, and so on, heard what the Buddha had spoken. With great bliss, they believed, accepted, and practiced in accordance.